Hey, what up? It's your boy Earl. Yeah, uh, today I'm gonna talk about something that is uh, required for the very basics of all basics when it comes to vaping, right? It's called the Ohm's Law. But, right, before I get into the whole thing, I would like to remind the professional vapers, right? All of you advanced and professional vapers, I'd like to remind you that this is a beginner's, okay? This is the beginners that I'm trying to get to. So, I'm gonna keep this as basic as possible. I will not be discussing voltage drop, battery sag, internal battery resistance, and all of that good stuff, but I will be giving at least the bare minimum basic of what the Ohm's Law is, which is simple as this. Voltage divided by resistance equals amperes. Now, on the previous video, you guys, I've discussed battery safety. Now, I want to be very, very clear on this. Keep your batteries maintained, right? Check the wraps, check the positive and the negative like, uh, buttons and sides, right? Make sure that the mods that you use have at least a safety feature, such as a quick release button or maybe venting holes, which is very, very, very important, right? Um, check your atomizer 510. I will keep repeating this every single time because we're talking about mechanical mods here. It's not easy, okay? Now for the Ohm's Law. Um, if you're looking at uh, the Ohm's Law, um, you're using a battery which is an 18650 or 21700 or some use like 2700s and 26650s which all say 3.7 volts. Now, um, that's normal, okay? 3.7 volts is the average voltage for these batteries, but at full capacity, these batteries drain, or these batteries hold 4.2 volts. So when we're doing the Ohm's law, right? I'm just using my calculator. When we're doing the Ohm's law, we're doing 4.2 voltage. So that will be a constant, okay? It will not change unless we start doing the whole voltage drop and battery sag and everything like that. It will, it will be constant at 4.2. Let's use that constantly at 4.2. Now, the resistance is how you build your coils. How do you get that resistance? Of course, you have to check with an ohm reader. Or if possible, if you don't have an ohm reader, you can, you can use it on a regulated mod and check the ohms. It has the omega symbol, right? It will be like on the left side or on the right side of your screen. It should be like that. For the ohm reader, it just reads your ohms, so it'll give you like a point something reading. So um, 4.2, which is a voltage, for example, let's use 20.20 ohms, right? So 4.2 divided by 4.2 volts, 4.2 volts divided by 0 0.20 ohms would come out to 21 amperes. Now, if you're using a very low drain battery, you're gonna stress your battery. <laughs> For example, you're using a 10 amp battery and you're draining it at 20 amps, it's not that safe. It's not that safe, okay? Just keep that in mind. Now, if you want to do like a complete, I don't know, cloud chasing build, like super sub ohm, uh, you might want to rethink your strategy on the batteries you use if you don't know what your batteries are. Especially if you're using like, I don't know, uh, noisy cricket, and then you're, you know, it's not safe. Like, the Ohm's law applies to all mechanical mods, all mechanical mods. So the lowest I would ever recommend anyone to build on a high drain battery, which is like a VDC 6A, a VDC 5D, 5A, a 5, uh, 4, um, the, the LG HB6s, HB4, HB2s, the, um, there are so many batteries that are high drain nowadays. You can check on Battery Mooch's blog. No worries there. Check on Battery Mooch's blog. Battery Mooch, Battery Mooch, Battery Mooch. I will keep repeating this. Check his blog because he informs you the best batteries. Okay, back to the topic. Like for any super high drain batteries that you're going to be using, the lowest build I would recommend would be 0 0.12, 0 0.12. Okay, 0.12. But just for the example, I'm using 0 0.20 because 0 0.20 will pull 21 amperes from your 25 or your 20, 30 batteries, 30 amp, 25 amp batteries. 
so it'll be completely safe. Even if the voltage drops, even if blah, 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 whatever factors come in, it will be within the safe boundary, right? Now, um, there's also the parallel box mods. Now, parallel box mods use the same principle, but the only thing different is it splits the amperes among the additional batteries. So if you're using two batteries, uh, it's still going to be 4.2 volts divided by the resistance, which is like 0 0.20 in, in the example, equals 21 amperes, and you're using two batteries on a parallel, for example, right? If you're using two batteries on that parallel, you're just going to split it by two. So 21 divided by two, that would be 10.5. So you're raining 10.5 per battery that you're using. That's for a parallel dual battery mechanical mod. Now for a series, and this is where everyone just gets it wrong, you stack the volts. Okay, you stack the volts. So if you're dividing it, right, you're going, uh, you're gonna be 4.2 volt, like for two batteries, okay, for two batteries, it's gonna be 4.2 plus 4.2, so that would be 8.4 volts. Right, and then you divide the resistance, which is like, if you're using a 0.20, this is how it's gonna go. 0.20, you're pulling 42 amperes per battery, per battery, okay? That's not a good idea to do. So the lowest I would recommend, right? The lowest that I would ever recommend going on a mechanical mod that is a series, that is a dual battery is 0.4, okay? If you're going by 0.4, let's check 8.4 divided by 0 0.40, you're taking 21 amperes per battery. That's safe. That's within reasonable limits, okay? So the lowest you should ever go on a series, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, is 0 0.40. If you're going anywhere lower than that, don't come anywhere close to me, because I don't want my face blown up. This is all I got left, and it's not even that good. Okay, it's not even that good. So if you blow my face off, it's not even that good and I lose it, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you solid, right? So now that we have that, that basic explanation, right? The recommended ohms I would, ever, I would always give on a tube mod is the lowest I would recommend for the tube mod is a 0.15 or that's for like sub ohms, okay? For the professionals, you, you got your thing, I, you know my builds. You know how I play, like super, super sub ohm, okay? For a parallel box mod, I would recommend, like, you can go like a point 15, point 0.12, right? If you're sub ohming, you can go like as low as a point 0.10. But if you're a professional, it's up to you. You know how I rock my parallels really low, right? And then for a series, I, the, the, the lowest I would recommend for a series, like, for non-professionals, the lowest I would recommend is a 0 0.40, okay? 0 0.40, anywhere below 0 0.40, just like step away, like step like two meters away from me, just so I have a running start when it starts to blow up, right? Because <laughs> I don't want to lose this. It's all I got. It's not really that good, but it's all I got. So that's all I work with, right? I hope you guys understood the very, very basics, the very, very, what? The very, very basics of the Ohm's Law, okay? Battery sag or voltage drop, uh, battery internal resistances, maybe I'll discuss in a future video, but this is just to keep you guys aware of how to be safe using the Ohm's law. Of course, always use an Ohm reader, okay? Always use an Ohm reader. Always use a regulated mod to check your ohms. If you don't have that, at the very least, you can download an app called Vape Tool. Vape Tool. Okay, it will give you a 95% accurate reading of whatever metal or whatever wire you're using if it has it in its, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the file in, in the app thing, right? Database, uh, database. If it has it in its database, then at the very least, you can check and it's 95% accurate. So that's what I've been using when I was young, because like, I'm old, <laughs> right? That being said, guys, the best way the best way to learn about vaping is to hang out and support your local shops because, hey, without your local shops, where are you going to get your stuff, right? It's your boy Earl. Peace out.